What's up, guys? Zach El Zorro, the gringo here in Tijuana, and I got a special guest, actually one of the first people I met out here, Halloween night, Alabrije, my boy Luis. Luis, let's start from the beginning, man. How long have you lived in TJ? Uh, I've been here about three and a half years now. Uh, I was visiting about two years before that and then moved here about three and a half years ago. Okay, where were you living before you moved to TJ? Uh, before TJ, I was living in Orange County in Irvine. Okay, so did you visit TJ before and you're like, this place looks cool, I could see myself living here. Did you have friends here? Did you have a girlfriend here? What made you come here for the first time and then what made you decide that you wanted to move here? So uh, my, my best friend actually moved here um, years ago and he was telling me about you know TJ, about how fun it was, about the culture, the food. And he, uh, he was the one that got me to come here at first. Uh, to be honest with you, I used to be uh, scared to come here, you know, because yeah. of all the bad stuff I heard uh -huh. from people. But when you come here, it's nothing like people, what they say it is. It's actually a lot of fun. The people are really good people. So after visiting for about two years, I decided uh, that it was the right time for me to move here. And uh, I don't regret it at all. It's the best choice I ever made. Absolutely. So that's very similar to me. I had uh, moved to San Diego. It was close to the border. I didn't know anything about TJ or Mexico. I only went to Baja Beach Fest for the music festival. We got a, we got a snorting dog down here. I went to Baja Beach Fest, the music festival. I didn't know Ubers existed, so I caught a taxi from Rosarito to the border, which is over an hour with that traffic, and I was scared shitless the entire time. The Uber driver was a 16-year-old kid, and he kept showing pictures of his Instagram, throwing up gang signs. He was swerving. He was cutting through corners, talking about, let's go to HK, let's go to HK. At that point, I didn't know what that was. but So let's talk about where have you lived in Tijuana before? Uh, so when I was coming here the first two years and I was just staying in Airbnbs and hotels, I mean, I was going everywhere from Ensenada to Rosarito to Playa de Tijuana. Uh, but I ended up moving to, um, Zona Rio. It's uh, really close to the border. Like right when you cross the border into, uh, the San Ysidro border into TJ, I'm like, I live in a complex called new city right there, right, right by the border. And we want to keep this as real as possible for people that are watching this channel. This is There's no fake stuff going on here. Tell us about, have you ever been scared? Has there ever been any kind of crime? You know, of course, n no names or anything like that. But have you ever been in a situation where you're like, man, this is, I might be reconsidering my thoughts? Uh, so my experience hasn't been like that. Um, you know, for the most part, I'm going to the nicer places here. You know, I'm not really going to places that where I shouldn't be going to. Uh, I'm not causing trouble with people, you know, I'm not looking for trouble. So, you know, as long as you, you keep your nose clean and, uh, you know, you're a good person, you're not acting a fool when you're out drinking, uh, you should be fine. Uh, I've never had any issues in my three plus years being here. Ever. Okay. Let's do some comparison. You were in Irvine, you said? Uh -huh. So nightlife, Tijuana or Irvine? Irvine has zero nightlife, <laughs> zero nightlife. <laughs> Tijuana, to be honest with you, man, I, I like it out here so much that I don't even go out in the U.S. anymore. Like to me, the U.S. is light knife is boring. Right? I think that's the same, man. It's, and it's crazy. Guess what? Two o'clock or one forty five last call. Man, that's no, it's a second bottle. That's what that's what we're talking about here. OK, we're how about warmed up at that time? Absolutely. People here like literally they go out at eleven thirty, twelve o'clock. That's when they start going out in the clubs. They stay up until, you know, five, six in the morning sometimes. Um, and there's a lot of them, a lot of options. Where, right. Again, like you said, the U.S., everything's closing at one thirty two and then you're looking for something else to do. Right, right. Yep. So what about food, restaurants, food and restaurants, U.S. or Tijuana? Well, uh, the food in Mexico is amazing. The service here is amazing. You know, they, they cater to you a lot. Um, obviously, the, the cost of everything is much better. So your, your money goes a lot further. Um, you know, I like to go out to nice dinners. Um, you know, I give you an example say a place in the U.S. like like a Ruth's Chris or, you know, something similar to that. You know, you're talking about spending three, four hundred dollars on a, on a date for two people. You know, and, and, and that's eating steaks, you know, uh, having drinks, things like wine, that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Whereas here, you know, um, and, and T1 is actually not the cheapest city in Mexico, but it's still probably half the price of the U.S., you know. So okay. at a, one of the nicest restaurants, you know. Like you said, bottle of wine, drinks, uh, steaks, you know, ni the nicest dinners, you're probably looking at $150, $200 tops. Wow. Wow. And this, and we're talking, we're talking nice, fine dining, fine dining. Yeah. You, you go in there wearing a t-shirt, you're going to be looked at. So just getting back on the cost thing, what does one of these run you in a nightclub? 
Because I know in the U.S. this can run you anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on where you're at. So it depends on which place you're going to, but you're talking about anywhere from about fifteen hundred pesos, which is roughly eighty dollars, uh, up to two hundred dollars, just depending on what place you're going to. Okay, but so it's nothing like the U.S. At maximum, it's still less than half of the minimum exactly. in the U.S. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What are some of your favorite things to do in Tijuana? Uh, and also, second part of that question, do you find yourself not able to do some of the things that you would want to do because you're a gringo? Uh, no. I remember when I first came here and I didn't really know how to count the bills. You know, uh, I didn't know uh, little things here and there. But uh, and, and if you're not careful with that kind of stuff, then some people might try to kind of mess with you with the bill and stuff. But you know, if you learn it, if you take the time and learn what the, you know, exchange rate is or uh, what the bill means when you're looking at it, um, you'll be fine. Like, you, it, it'll be fine. Okay. So what are some of your favorite areas around Tijuana? Uh, some of the stuff I like to do the most is um, I like to go towards the beach more, um, you know, towards Rosarito or Puerto Nuevo, um, Ensenada, out in that area. Um, there's Valle de Guadalupe, it's which awesome. is out near Ensenada. It is like a man i would call it like a small city uh, of just wineries you know and um there's probably 30 wineries out there and they just add more and more of them and they're different from the u.s in the sense that the wineries in the u.s are like um kind of slow paced you know it's just wine and it's not like a party but here in mexico it, you go to those wineries and it's a party like there's full bar you know djs uh, obviously there's wine and stuff too. And, and, and some of them are different. Some of them are slower pace. Some of them are more party and, uh, but you have both options, which I love. Okay. Tell us about some of the, cause Tijuana and Baja California is a coastal state. So you mentioned Puerto Nuevo, which is the lobster capital of, I mean, this region at least and, um, Rosarito as well as, um, you know, there's other places like Los Partales de Garcia. Tell us about some of those spots. Yeah, Los Portales is super fun. I like it there a lot. Um, it's very, very authentic. You know, um, they because it's gotten very popular, they've added a second and third story to it. Um, but that's definitely a place I would recommend because it has an ocean view. And it's like good food and good drinks, obviously. You know, good party. Good time. Just a good time. You can go there and just be chill with your family or you can go there with your friends and get fucked up and have fun. <laughs> Here's a question I'm sure a lot of the viewers are waiting for me to ask what's dating like in Tijuana and what's it like as a gringo I mean to be honest with you uh it's definitely easier here you know there's for one there's more options way more options um I would say that you have a little bit of an advantage also because of being you know a gringo but um they a lot of the girls here you know they think if you're from the U.S. then you automatically have money which doesn't always mean that you do but they think that uh you know if you're decent looking if you're in shape things like that they're gonna they're gonna love you like i, I always tell my friends here that the gringos here are like unicorns you know like <laughs> we're the rare ones here you know and, and versus uh being in the u.s where everyone's exactly the same you know it's a it's a, a lot harder it's a lot harder there and the girls here are much more friendly as far as uh approaching them and talking to them okay where do you usually meet the girls uh where <laughs> where don't i meet the girls <laughs> i'm just kidding uh any, anywhere I go out, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm very social. So, I, you know, at the gym or just anywhere. I mean, uh, grocery stores. Uh, no, seriously. <laughs> uh, obviously, going out to bars, clubs, uh, you can do online dating. There's a, a bunch of apps. It's, it it kind of depends on uh, your personality. Okay. Have you, like, met any family of any of the girls you've talked to? Well, yeah. I, I was uh, in a relationship for almost five years uh, the entire time. I just recently got single about two and a half months ago. So for me, dating here is new. And so my experience is very fresh and the things that I'm saying to you are like happening right now. Okay, these are all, this is up-to-date information that you're receiving right here. So do you think that any Mexican girl would date any American guy? Do you think it's um, case by case? Do you think it's just, it's just you? Do you think that um, only certain girls would do it or is it against certain people's customs or cultures? What's the deal with that? I think it's a little bit of everything because um, you'll see Americans here that aren't very good looking, aren't in shape, but they have a hot Mexican girl. And it's pretty obvious why, you know, right. again, you know, the girls, they, they don't have the same opportunities here that they do in the U S. So if somebody comes from the U S it's like, okay, this guy is a good guy, you know, and they feel secure with them. Um, 
but uh, it, it just depends. It, it's case by cases. They're not all the same. Some of the girls like only want to date gringos. Some of them are scared to date gringos because of things they've heard or if there's been, you know, a few bad people that have come over here and done bad things here. So, you know, some of them are scared, but the majority of them love gringos here. Okay. Let's say somebody's visiting San Diego, 15 minutes from the border. What are three things you can recommend them to do? Come to Tijuana, cross the border, come to Baja, California. What are three things you can recommend them to do? All right. So if I had to recommend three things to do when you came here, first thing I would probably do is look for, you know, the, the tacos. This, they're amazing. Uh, you can go to Revolution, the Revolution area, which is kind of like the downtown area of Tijuana. Tons of stuff to do there, touristy type of things. It's safe enough there to walk around, shopping, food, whatever you want. Uh, another thing I would suggest is uh, you can go to either Playas de Tijuana and walk around on, on the Malecon, which is like the, the boardwalk down there. Or you can go to Rosarito, uh, which is very touristy, and that's where your, your papas and beers are and all those types of bars and stuff. But they have the, you know, the ocean and, and the beach right there as well and amazing food there as well. Uh, a third thing I would say would be um, the, the, play, the place we spoke of earlier, Los Portales or uh, Puerto Nuevo, one of those three. Okay, okay. Excellent. Now you have a full video of recommendations. You have no excuses. Or will you die if you come here? Absolutely not. It, it's nothing like what people say it is here. I mean, more and more uh, people are from the U.S. are moving here every single day. I live in a condo complex and probably 40 to 50 percent of my neighbors are Americans. So it's very it's plenty safe. Shall we take a shot? Absolutely. Let's do oh. it. Win in Mexico. Baby. OK, you want to pour them up? Absolutely. All right, set them like that. And this is the official drink of, I mean, our friend group. <laughs> Salud. Salud a Mexico. Thanks, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe. It's my boy Luis. He's going to drop his info down low.